every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and set countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became the great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Dear Mario, I'll be waiting for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival. There's something I'd like to give you from Peach. And so we shall go! Hey everybody, this is DP, and welcome to my first ever Let's Play, Super Mario Galaxy. Now, this is a fairly old game that not everybody knows a lot, so uh, let's just get started. I'm going to start to um, explain a lot of things, like this is the first on the screen is a uh, collector, or pointer. So, um, this is a Wii Remote and Nunchuck game, it's obviously a Wii game. I'm, uh, I'm here pretty much playing video games for you guys, and I hope as one of the newest YouTubers that I will make you guys happy. So, uh, let's go! be playing Mario games. I mean, that's not the game people are into these days. But I tell you what, it's what I grew up with. And it's what I'm going to stick to for the rest of my life. So I tell you what, those who hate it, shut up, sit back, and watch anyway. So we're going to save the princess. With the giant UFO about to do something. I'm going to let you guys in on something here. This is not possible, so please do not try this at home. Alright, let's see what.
We got killed it did. But on um, like every Mario game, we always survive, so let's uh Let's get tapped on the forehead apparently a few times by this uh that's, that's obviously gray that I was about to say. This pink sparkly thing, I think. I don't know what color this is. Yeah. Finally you're awake. Let's play. Yep, let's play. Super Mario Galaxy, I should probably have this thing on in case I like throw my controller. Alright, let's come on and jump. Well, uh, guys, I will tell you right now, you guys probably know everything about this game. But I'm just going to tell you right now, it's one of my favorites, and that's why I'm playing it for you guys. And I just feel like it deserves some recognition for those who have not seen it yet. Because the kids these days don't appreciate what the older fellows used to be into. So let's just jump on things. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. Well, that seems fair enough. Uh, I mean, it's only a hide and seek game, isn't it? So let's just look in these bushes over here. Hello. Hey, 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 hey. Come back here, you youngin. You kids these days don't know how to stop for an old man. Oh, come here, sonny. You caught me. Ah, I knew I should have hidden the crater. Alright, but before we do the crater, we're gonna go in this pipe right car. And we're gonna find another bunny. So let's just, um, let's catch this bunny and let's get started. I sound like somebody, I think. A lot of people say I sound like somebody they know, but honestly, I think I just have that type of voice. Well, that doesn't matter right now. We, uh, are gonna pretty much, uh, explain a few things here. Like I should have been doing from the beginning of this game. Well, obviously, this is a, um, this is a 3D game, as you can clearly tell. Uh, this pointer here, those little scar bits, you can actually collect those, that's what those are called. And, um, you can, uh, shoot them with B by pointing at them at something, like, you can just look at this guy, go blam, and it hits him. He laughs at us, like, in mockery or something. The A button's to jump, the B button's to, uh... Shoot Starbits. The, the, uh, I guess I'll say what the nunchuck does. Z and A does this. Running and, uh, Z A does that. Doing, running forward and suddenly put, jumping back and jumping is a very high jump. Um, running around. Um, there's really not much more to do except for, uh, how the camera works. Uh, you can press up on the D pad to look in that way. And, uh, that's, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, I don't know what the C button does. The C button, like, changes the camera view, I think. So let's just, um, go over here and let's catch this bunny. Uh, he looks special, doesn't he? He's that bunny that told us, uh, hey, follow me or you're gonna die on this planet because you won't know what to do. Come back here, ding dong. There you go. Yep, you're special. I can't believe I let myself get caught. Huh. Can't believe it. You are special. Wow, you caught all of us. Maybe you really can help, Mama. Mama. Oh, I like to meet Mama. All right, well, let's just go in that area. Now, it would be very tedious. Well, not really tedious, but it would be like a waste of time for us to walk around. So let's, uh, let's just, uh, let's just, uh, let, let's just, uh, there we go. Oh my, really? Oh my, really? There we go. There we go. That, we could have walked around a bit shorter. Hello. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Star Sky. Rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Can't you just say the Star Gateway or something? My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. So wait, you're in one game. And you're in, like, all the racing and sport games in Mario history now. Except for the older ones before the game. Oh, really? Oh, you'll give me a... Luma can give you this power. I'll trust you with this care. So we're supposed to babysit. That's really crazy. And now our... He gets into our hat and we, um... Get a very shiny fist. Sorry. 
And we can spin now, because that's the ability to travel through space, apparently. That's all we need. And, okay, we're supposed to save the Grand Stars, and we're supposed to beat up a bunch of things. Don't worry, beating up things is my specialty. Why do you think in Assassin's Creed, instead of sneaking around, oh, I just go around punching things? I don't even use weapons, I just punch things. Alright, so, um, shake to spin things that look breakable. Now, this has no logic, alright? These are crystals. 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 They are really not breakable by the human hands in any way if you just use your hands. But apparently, to mo Shut up, phone! Oh my gosh. Okay, apparently, to Mario Galaxy, if you go up to them and spin like mad, okay, spin like mad, you can break them. Which is really weird. Alright, this is a launch star. Shake the Wii remote when you near one to shoot through them like a comet. Oh my gosh, I'd love to do this in real life, wouldn't you guys? Jump in it and shake and boom, we head off to that dangerous looking hole. Alright, uh, instead of talking to this ding dong, we're gonna go around collecting these little star, um, bits, pieces here. Um, launch star pieces is what they are, really. So, um,. We're gonna collect them, and uh, there's five to collect, so we're gonna collect five of them, obviously. And there's going to be a, uh, a No! You! No! I died on the first level. I gotta soak what in that minute. I gotta soak that in. Alright guys, I will let you know something right here, right? That sucks. That down there is a black hole, in case you don't know what that is. Uh, black hole, it pretty much kills you. Um, what a black hole really does in real life, these actually do exist, in case you don't know that. Uh, they, they cause spaghettification, which pretty much means every atom in your body stretches, and it causes you to where every single atom in your body would explode very slowly, and the entire process can take years to do, possibly, until it destroys one of your major organs, so, pretty much, you better get lucky if you run into a black hole and die instantly, because that's painful. You're welcome, you're not here, you. <laughs> Alright, well, we're supposed to look for a very special Goomba, and we just found him, it's the big one on this planet. We find the key, we run in the key, and then we go up there and talk to Ding Dong again. Thanks, would you mind risking my buddy in that base up there too? You know, transform into a sling star after all. Okay, a sling star is a lot, like, weaker than a launch star. But it still transfers you spots, like, like so. Alright, now we don't need to talk to that guy, we can just go up here. And you see this very big guy? <laughs> yeah, just spin into him and then hit him, and then you get a key. Now I'll explain something here, alright? Um, alright. There is a difference between jumping on enemies and spinning into enemies. Alright, jumping on enemies gives you coins, like so. You jump on them, they give you a coin. But, if you spin into one of these enemies here, and then you spin like this, and then you run into them, they give you star bits. Some of them do. Alright, hurry, down here. Now, star bits will be important later, but I tell you coins right now, they're pretty much like your life source. So, if you're low on health, run into a coin. Or jump on an enemy to get a coin, because you're done otherwise. Alright, there's the grand star, we gotta save it, and we gotta, okay. What we're supposed to do here, is just see those, like, yellow things everywhere? We're supposed to, uh, run over top of them. I don't know how it's supposed to work, really, but... Science says if they're blue, they're good. If they're yellow, they're bad. So let's make all these things blue. There's gonna be four on each side of this thing. Like okay, this, and then we go in here, and then we turn all these. That turn off the I know! Now when we're done with these, they're going to turn to a very special color of red. And the thing stops, and I don't know why they don't have that. Why don't they just have a switch or something that you need a key for if they really want to take this thing. So anyway, let's collect our first! There's something like a king coming down the aisle. You got a grand style!
Alrighty then. Well, that was awesome. Now we're here in this area that looks completely deserted. And we shoot the Grand Star into something smaller than it, and then we turn it into something about the size as big as it. And that is, like, very dim. And it turns on some lights, apparently, so I'm glad. We get to live here now! Oh, there's Luna's here. You gotta start the Grand Star Rescue, Gateway Galaxy. High score updated! Two coins! You increased your star bit count. Alright, I'll explain what those are in a moment, so... Cutscene, great, so... The bacon is lit again! The bacon is lit again! It shines weekly! Maybe only it's great, it is class 6 now! Oh my gosh, there's classes? Do I have to take class now? But at least the poor Lumas will survive now! Aren't you one of them? Look... Look at this special one in the middle, that's so smart. Oh, thank you for- oh my gosh. Sorry. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These pe star people are my family. They mean so much to me. You are a part of this family of the Lumas. Okay, I don't want to know. You see, we travel the starry skies, obviously. We pass by this area once every hundred years, obviously, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away our star bits. <coughs> Excuse me, jeez. And our power source, uh, power stars. Our ship lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. So, we gotta go, um, keep somebody from using a um, time and space machine. The observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies. So, they're pretty much like your map. Look. We have to give you, um, your s power stars back so you can know where you're going. Alright, please go to the Terrence, which is like your garden. Okay, and now this blue-eyed Luma that reminds me of myself. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory and be able to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who run off with the power stars. I'm kind of like debating on what voice I should give that guy. Because he kind of is a little important, but not really important to uh, talk about him the entire way. So I'm going to give him a voice that I can be exhausted of or something in a few episodes. Well, let's go into the terrace and see what he wants to say. There he is. Welcome! This dome acts as an eye in the observatory. From here, we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Okay, that's perfect. Once the Luma transforms it into a full star, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Okay, you see that blue Luma back there? He will pull it up in the sky, become a pull star. A pull star is pretty much... If you point your pointer at it and then press A, you will be pulled to it, and then in these things you can see everything. Simply point your- I just explained that. So, uh, do like so. La 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 Yay! And you get pulled right to it. This is useful in the actual things too. These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers, uh, the numbers, represent their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the further you'll be able to travel. I want to get this number. Yeah. All right, first one, good egg galaxy. All right. Uh. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the great near <laughs> in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil reading, the energy readings are off the charts. Be careful. So pretty much there's bad guys here. Don't worry. I am good at punching things. Alright, this is what a uh, menu to the mission thing is. It's like Dino Piranha. Good day, Galaxy Dino Piranha. I'm not good at speaking Spanish, so I don't know how to roll the R off the leg. I'm a horse. Alright, 
Now you see that up there? So guys, I'll explain what the gravity system in this game is. Okay, watch this. Awesome, right? That is just awesome, isn't it? Hoop! Hoop! Whoa! Oh my no! Okay, we're gonna have to get up there. Hold on. I'm gonna do awesomely. Hoop! Hoop! Yeah, baby. Now we're gonna go in here. We're gonna go in here. I'm gonna show you guys this. This is actually a little secret. Just a tiny little secret. If you hit this thing. Watch this. I don't know about feet, I know. Alright, now this little thing here, it's going to teleport right to us. And we're gonna jump into our pipe again. And we're gonna come back out. And we are going to just. That was awesome. I, I wish I could do that all the time. But yeah, oh, oh. oh, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna go up here. And then we're gonna jump. Oh no. Okay, boom. Yes. We don't even need to talk to that little bit. So let's just go over here and we gotta collect the star pieces again. That's just fantabulous. I just made words. I can make words with my brain. Come here, you. I want to, like, make things out of you. Does that sound nasty? No, it doesn't. Okay, there's a, uh, there's one over there, and there's one right here. So let's get that one over there. Oh, no. Now, these are rolling rocks. Don't be afraid to hit them. They don't instantly kill you or anything. And if you, if they really are a nuisance, you can break them. Watch. Yeah, it's possible. You just gotta spin into the red area. Oh no! All right, let's uh, let's do this. Let's uh, fly over to this. Now, on the opposite end of this galaxy, if you go over, we can just like get one of these things and get a bunch of star bits. And now, kill this thing to get more star bits, obviously. And let's just get that, and let's grab this, and then let's shake to go in the thing. And now, here's a little um, little weird thing. Go over here, actually. Oh. No way. And then we can like, get that thing dead and then jump in the pipe. Now, actually, I did not know about this, to be honest, uh, until a few days ago. So, um, let's just get all these things lit again. So, alright, let's do this. Let's get all the things lit. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So this is a thing. This is a thing. Yep, let's do that. And then it, uh... It lets us skip an area, pretty much. So, uh, let's, let's skip an area. Ding. Alright. Now, right here. See those things in the foot, in the sand being left there? Pretty much, that means there's something there that will give you a huge prize for killing it, like a bunch of star bits. And, guys, right now, collect as many star bits as you can, because they are really, really, really important. You will need a lot of them. Alright, we're gonna travel over here, and we're gonna be the best, best friend we can ever be. Okay, I gotcha! I gotcha! <laughs> the very last second, I gotcha. And now, I know Peter Nina. Oh, it's not that deadly. Now, this is a boss, right? I will tell you what, this is not a boss to me. Look, it's... You just gotta spin into its tail, and you'll kill it eventually. I mean, look at this here. This is like easy spy. I can do this in my sleep. All you gotta do is pretty much run left and up slightly, like like this. Run up and left slightly, and like that. Obviously, I'm gonna wow. Okay. Bang! Kill you. All right, guys. Um, that's actually Dino Piranha. Happy last. And there's our first power star. That's not a grand star, by the way. Now we're gonna collect a few more star bits here around the planet. Pl pl the pl planet. And uh, I'm, I need to be perfect, so we'll hold on. All right, perfecto. Let's go. Oh, I did not see. 
<laughs> My voice like cracked. All right, we're gonna explain one more thing here before we go and end the video. You got a star, Dada Piranha! Yay, three coins! And then we got a lot of star bits, that's good. Save my game! Yes, I would love to! Saving, do not turn off the power or reset the game. Yeah, 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 I don't care. Those star bits are star bits. Really. They're the tastiest, most delectable treats imaginable! I'm your point remote at the screen and point your thing at me to pick them up. Once you have some, shoot them by aiming with the thing and pressing B. Alright. Apparently these are delicious. Why don't we try it out? Aim some at me. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, let's aim at him. I'm actually a horrible shot, so I, I need to be like a... I need to be like I'm out in the field here. Delicioso. Oh, thank you, yes! Yeah, we got him! Mmm, tasty! Let's call those little morsels my feed for this lesson! You can also shoot them at enemies to feed them to a hungry luma. Yay! Yay, we can feed them to people. That's really helpful. It actually is! Well, uh, guys, I think I'm gonna end this video here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. This is actually my first video on YouTube. Like I said earlier. And, uh, I hope you guys, uh, like it. And, uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm DP. And we will see you, or I will see you, in the next video. Stay sharp.